Allo tout le monde, bienvenue sur la chaîne en parler créole. Côté gain la côté que contentement en Haïti. Je dis un seulement pour ton petite nouvelle bien vite et excusez-moi parce que moi parle pas anglais dans vidéo ça parce que m'a pris un article qui est en anglais et il fait plus sens pour me continuer parler en anglais parce que um, pense me à puis um, coherent. Et ça passe aujourd'hui, on m'a fait rapport sur un article qui est sorti dans la République dominicaine entre Haïti et le problème qu'il y a. Dans la République dominicaine, il y a un H1N1 virus, le swine flu, et il a infecté leur poultry industrie, leur poultry products, et ils ont toujours voulu être allowed to import these things into Haiti and which is poisonous food and it causes the people to be sick from touching and handling those poisonous food and they still want to be allowed as if they are big bullies that cannot be stopped and the thug government in Haiti the puppet government in Haiti has put a ban on a partial ban on the uh, importing of this infested food, of this um, poisonous food into the country. But the Dominican Republic have stood up as if they are God or some untouchable thing. And um, to retaliate verbally and, um, you know, just very, in a very arrogant and disrespectful way and mainly disrespectful to themselves because those people, they have no history to stand um, back on. They have nothing at all. Nobody mentioned, I never hear the mentioning of Dominican Republic anywhere. Nowhere. They have no history. They have nothing at all. They have no past. And they forget that Haiti liberated Dominican Republic and the same group of criminals, after we liberated them, they escaped and went back and sold themselves back again to their masters, the, U the European um, um, overseers. And that's the history that they have and they are so proud of it. They think that they are Europeans, they think that they are aligned with the Spanish and those are the people they were to affiliate themselves with. The ex-slave masters whom we liberated them from and they've gone ahead and betrayed us and went and sold themselves back to the same people. And today, this is the audacity that they had to report bullshit about Haiti. They are saying that Haiti does not exist. Does not exist in what form or shape. Haiti does exist. Does some, if someone wants to question the um, sovereignty of Haiti, then I am with you 100% because Haiti is not sovereign. And in this channel, I consistently reiterate that Haiti is not sovereign and the time hasn't been any nearer, any better for us to stand up and tell Washington we want Haiti back. Well, they further said that Haiti is ruled by a group of thugs. Well, did Dominican Republic forget that in 2011 that they poured 2.5 million U.S. dollars into subsidizing um, Michelle Matelli's false campaign, fraudulent campaign? Did they forget that? I'm sure they knew they wanted the thugs. They wanted the thugs in Haiti so that way they can do their drug dealings. So that way they can keep the country back. That's what they wanted. And let's proceed. And it says, the, the Dominican Republic superintendent. Okay, the Dominican Republic superintendent of um, insurance, Euclides um, Gutierrez, Felix said on Friday that, in quote, in negotiations on border terms, you always have to give up something. But it is one thing to give a geographical area of land. And another is to become a creditor of the disrespect of things uh, of this gang that is ruling Haiti. Well, there is no Haiti. Haiti does not exist. 
said um, Gutierrez um, Felix. Well, I find that to be very, very um, impulsive, very derogatory, and very poorly thought. Because what term of geographical area of land are they talking about? Well, I, I, I think I understand it. I, I think I understand it. What they are saying is that we, the Haitian people, have allowed them to steal part of our land that we liberated. And then as a result of them stealing that land, and as a result of them um, facilitate, facilitating a gang member to come to rule the country, they have a price to pay for that. And of course, who wouldn't have a price to pay for illegal things, for illegal doings? Well, that's the price you have to pay, Dominican Republic, for pouring $2.5 million into Matali's fraudulent um, campaign. We know Matali is where he is because Washington put him there. Because Clinton stands behind him. No Haitian want that man there. I mean, with the exclusion of the traitors who we've given asylum to, who now think that Haiti belongs to them. And that includes Michel Matali. That includes Preval. That includes... Um, Richard Morris, the singer from Ram, who are not Haitians. But they think by some magical way that they are entitled to have Haiti, not just part of Haiti, not just um, to be privileged, but to have the sole godly rights to rule Haiti and hand Haiti back to the white traders to the overseers, to those people who used to enchain us. Well, Dominican Republic, you deserve what you had paved the road for. And you deserve everything. And Haiti will change. And this is the beginning to something marvelous, bigger, more prosperous that's going to come. Because the more the Haitian people are being oppressed, are being um, suffocated, of being deprived of their basic human rights, the more driven they'll be to rise up and start a re another revolution. And maybe that piece of geographical land you're talking about will once again belong to us, Haitian people, the root of Toussaint, the root of the Saline, who will continue to spring into life to claim the right and dignity of all African women, all African children, and men alike. So just be patient. Wait. Change is going to come. And you shall be in our place one day. For you shall have nothing.